hey guys welcome back to my channel of course I'm back at it again with the DIY heels in this video I will show you how to revamp your heels in two different ways please stay tuned if you'd like to see how I did this so we'll be using sandal heels suede cord scissors some cone studs and a fabric punch I always have to remove the straps and add a touch of the Bella Rita to it <laughs> So I'm going to be using the full suede cord and I measure it out to the length that I want. Next I pull the cord through the hole in the heels and that's all. I love this simple trick. Strap up the cord and leave the ends to hang for now. And I'll also show you how I can tie it in a bow at the back. So now, let's get on to my favorite part. I measure and cut the cord along my leg. I make sure to pay careful attention to how high up I want the straps to be. And I make sure I cut two of the same length so I can use it for the other shoe. So since I want this to be a temporary style, I take some old stockings that I have and I cut it into a small piece and then I use my crochet needle to pull it through the hole. I tie the stocking and then I sew the end of the cord to it with a needle and weaving thread. The stocking will basically act as a foundation for my gladiator straps. So that way if I ever feel like wearing the shoes by itself, I would just cut off the stockings and take off the gladiator straps. So of course if you want this to be something permanent, you can skip this step. So be careful to align the strap so that instead of gluing it down right at the middle, you glue it so that three-fourths of the strap crosses your leg and the other fourth would be where you would connect the two at. And I prefer to use a toothpick to take the glue out to glue because the opening is it's pretty big and a lot of products can come out if I don't use a toothpick. So now I'm taking the stud, this is what it looks like, and I first use the fabric punch to punch holes in the straps and then I press the back part of the studs, it comes in two parts, so there's like a base and the cone part that you can screw on, so I take the base and I poke it through the, the hole I just made in the strap and then I can go back and screw the cone part onto it. Ah! 
on to the next shoe, I repeat the same process. I crochet the stocking into the hole, I tie it, sew down the cord to the stocking. Then I glue each strap down to how high up I want it. Remember once again to glue it so that three fourths of the strap crosses the front of your leg and the other fourth is where you would use to connect the two. Of course if you have any questions about this feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Another way you can do this is to take a seat and measure the straps directly across your leg. I use my glue gun right away and glue the straps down once I get the correct measurement. But if this is your first time using a glue gun, please, please, please do not be like me and burn yourself. Take your time to measure the straps and at this point you can even remove the shoe and carefully glue the straps down. Don't say Carita did it so you want to do it and you go and bang yourself, please, sister auntie, no, just take your time and do it right. So this is how it looks without the cone part of the stud screwed on. I was just testing to see how sturdy the shoe would be without that. And now with the studs on. I really like how these heels came out. Let me know if you'd like to see a video on how to style these heels. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to all my new subscribers. You guys are the best. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on part 2 of this DIY series. See you in my next video. Bye!